So this is getting a bit out of control. I have about, I think eight or nine hard drives over here. I've wanted to do something with my storage for a long time now because my data and workflow just straight up isn't safe. Now you might say, why not just use an SSD because they're fast, they're efficient and they don't have moving parts in them like a hard drive. So they're way more reliable. However, they are incredibly expensive, especially when you start looking into big terabyte SSDs. So I currently just use the one SSD, which is a Samsung T5. It's a one terabyte SSD that's just connected to my laptop. And I use that for all my current or recent projects. And as soon as I'm finished with them, they get moved onto the hard drive here, deleted off the SSD because it only fits so much storage. And then it just lives on the hard drive until I need the files again. However, hard drives have a lot of moving parts in them. Inevitably, one day, you're gonna have a problem with it. It's basically like storing your data on a ticking time bomb. And since I'm shooting often, I'm going through a lot of hard drives quickly as well. So now I've just ended up with a bunch of hard drives with God knows what's on them. A few years ago, I attempted to set up my own rated storage device. So I bought this lacy too big dock. I filled it with two 16 terabyte hard drives in them and then set the second hard drive up as a RAID 1, which basically meant it backed up the first hard drive. Technically, I could only use 16 terabytes of the 32 terabytes I had on there, which means it was only going to be about three and a half of these hard drives could be backed up onto the Lacey 2 big dock before I then needed to upgrade it and build a bigger dock basically. So I realized that was gonna be stupid and expensive and what's stopping that thing from just shutting down as well. You know, it's still a hard drive, even though it has backups. Photography is my profession. I'd like to think I'm a professional. So it's about time I've started taking my data seriously. That's where this big Lego block comes in. This is a NAS drive from Synology. NAS meaning network attached storage. Whereas this is a DAS, a direct attached storage unit. However, with the NAS system, it's a bunch of hard drives interconnected into a big unit that can be accessed via the internet or a private network. So for example, let's say I have an important document on one of my hard drives. Instead of connecting 50 billion of these to try and find it. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Whether as having the NAS drive, I could just search it up and find it easily. And let's say, for example, I need to print it and my laptop doesn't support the right connection to my printer because that's always the case with printers. They're always shit. Because my desktop will be connected to the same network as my NAS drive, I can just print it from there. I'm geeking out a little bit on this because I've done a lot of research in it, but it's actually pretty simple. You get the NAS drive, you upload all the data from your hard drives to it, and then you can access data from multiple devices. Pretty much it. Inside the app of the NAS drive, you also have features like AI detect. So let's say you try to search up cat or dog or red car or orange car or purple car. That is a pretty helpful feature if you want to find something quickly. And another important feature with this, this NAS drive has something called SHR, which is Synology's own hybrid RAID system. So unlike my lacy big dock, which I had an entire 16 terabytes made redundant basically, the SHR system does some kind of, I don't know, magic where you have less wasted storage for each redundant hard drive. If it's too good to be true, it usually is. So yes, this is expensive. It's not something you go down to Kmart or Target and just buy off the bottom shelf. You know, this is a luxurious item. However, if I was to add up all the money I've spent on hard drives and that lacy too big thing and SSDs and everything I've bought in the past, I'd probably be about eight or $9,000 deep into it. If I just set this up from the start when I was starting to get serious about what I was doing, I'd probably have money left over to buy new turbo, injectors, downpipe, could tune it, new intercooler. I'd have a lot of money left over to do some dumb shit with. <laughs> <laughs> so this might sound like overkill, especially for something like data, but I'm pretty serious about it. Like I said, on top of that, while I was traveling last year and I went through Turkey, 
and our apartment got broken into, my computer and one of my hard drives got stolen, I lost a lot of projects I was working on and a lot of content. That wouldn't have happened because my computer, even though I'm overseas, would have already been backing up my storage to my NAS drive at home and I wouldn't have had that problem. I got a few questions asking what I'm doing for data these days. So I wanted to share how I'm future proofing my storage and I honestly think it's a great investment. That's it. Keep having yourself a shit one and I'll see you in the next one. And through the software, it can make automatic backup coffees. Coffees. It makes automatic coffees. That's why it's so fucking expensive.